Guys, I'm Mr. Mega. I make everything bigger and better. And I am Princess Grace. I spread love and kindness and grace wherever I go. You're not Princess Grace. Am too. Are not. Princess Grace was a real person who lived long, long ago. And you're not her. Fine. Then I'm Princess Patience. Okay. Anyway, I'm Cruz. This is Alyssa. And we're talking about... Courage. Now, having courage doesn't mean that you don't feel fear. Right. Everybody gets afraid sometimes. But courage means facing that fear with God's power. Now, you can have courage and still feel afraid. Right. Sometimes people get afraid. But courage means facing that fear with God's power. And today, God's power is giving us the courage to rehearse the verse. Today's verse comes from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 1. Say it like this. Romans 12, 1. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Great job. Now, repeat after me. Okay. Romans 12, 1. 
Romans 12, 1. Offer your bodies. Offer your bodies. As a living sacrifice. As a living sacrifice. Holy and pleasing to God. Holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. This is your true and proper worship. <laughs> Great job, guys. So who do you think is going to be Lionheart's new sidekick? Super bass, velocity, nightlight, ah, where's the remote? I want to watch it now, now, now. OK, Princess Patience, it's right over there. <laughs> In Chance City, evil doesn't stand a chance. Thanks to the daring duo of Lionheart and Quest Boy. <laughs> I am not defeated. <laughs> Those ropes tell a different story. Your plan has been foiled once again, Dr. Knucklehead. The happy victory was short-lived. Quest Boy did not want to be a sidekick anymore. He moved away to New Omega City and became the hero known as Journey. I will miss you, old friend, but you will do well. The city is ours. You're never going to defeat us. <laughs> Prepare to be destroyed. You can't defeat me. No one takes over Chance City. Uh -huh. Ooh, take that! Ow. <laughs> Lionheart found that fighting crime alone was more than he could handle. He needed something new. He needed an ally. He needed a sidekick. Quest Boy will be difficult to replace, but somewhere out there is my next sidekick. But who will it be? Lionheart searches the globe to find the best of the best and a hero who shows true courage. Find out who will be his next sidekick on Sidekickin' It! Here we go. You know, I think I'm actually getting stronger. Why can't I get this light to be as powerful? I still wish it would do something. This is your final challenge, and it's going to test you to your limits. There's a bomb set to go off in your area in five minutes. Don't snicker, Super Bass. This isn't a joke. I know, sir. It's just that it's not a real bomb. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? I'm tired of my plans being foiled. That's Dr. Knucklehead. And constantly being beaten by Lionheart's little sidekicks. That game ends today. Where will we look first? I don't know. Found it. Wait a minute. This is just a game. Lionheart's just messing with us. Oh. I can hear it ticking. It's super real. Of course it's real. Have fun, kiddos. Recruits, I'm sorry. This is a trap. Get out now. Hello. He's locked us in. What do you mean he locked us in? We can't go out like this. What are you doing, Nightlight? We don't have time for you to be filling around on walls. I'm looking for a hidden door.
Maybe some super bass will defuse this. No! Are you crazy? That'll just set off the detonator. Well, it's better than standing here and doing nothing. <sighs> super bass, I need you to come see something. I don't have time for this. Use your sonic boom towards the confession booth. Nightlight, I don't have time to play games. Just trust me. Fine. <sighs> I thought this wasn't a game. It's not. I think this glass is bulletproof. You'll be safe in here from the impact. Nightlight, I totally underestimated you. This is great. Really great. Nightlight, you rock. Uh-oh. It's not big enough. There's only room for two. <sighs> the fair thing to do is draw straws. That's how we should do it. The loser just has to face the danger. Sounds good. No. What do you mean, no? I'm not gonna do that. You guys get behind the shield. You're more important than I am. No, we're not. Night like this is ridiculous. We're all equal. Now draw straws. No, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna disarm the bomb. Have you ever even seen a bomb before? Not really. Well, then you can't do it. Sorry, guys. My mind is made up. Now get behind the shield. That's one brave little glow stick. She's one of a kind. Or one in a million. Unique. Special. OK. I get it. Thanks. A bomb is very dangerous. What are they going to do? I bet the Bible has some ideas. <gasps> oh, wow. Jesus gave it all. That's an important story. That's the story. We're talking mega, huge. Watch and you'll see. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a love of God's the heart in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Oh, the story of how much he loves me. Let him know the story of how God so loved the world that he gave to all of us his only son. Jesus grew into a man, he healed the sick, he loved the lonely, he gave God's love away to everyone. Jesus gave it all. Followed him, they'd never seen that kind of love He loved them all no matter what they've done But not everyone was happy Some of them were jealous so They made plans to kill God's only son Jesus gave it all And one night while he was praying Some soldiers came to find him They took to their roof who didn't know just what to do they asked the people gathered just what they should do with him the crowds crucify him though he did nothing wrong jesus gave it all and the soldiers tried to break him the crowds they mocked and scorned they led him up a hill called calvary and then nailed him to a cross Till he asked God to forgive them They didn't understand That it was all for you and me Jesus gave it all Jesus said he is finished Then he took his final breath And the sky grew black as midnight And the earth began to shake And the 
crowd began to tremble. They shook their heads and wondered. And the soldier said, I know that this man was the son of God. Jesus gave it all. And they took him off the cross. They placed him in a tomb. They rolled a large round stone in the doorway of the cave. Some soldiers they stood watching, making sure no one could enter. Jesus' friends were sad and hopeless as they all went home that day. Jesus gave it all. On the morning of the third day, his mother Mary came to see him to make his body ready for the grave where he would lay. But the tomb it was empty. An angel came to tell her he's not here. He's risen. See the stones been rolled away. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. Jesus gave it all. Jesus lived a life of courage. He healed the sick, told people about God's love. He died on the cross. There's nothing more courageous than that. Perhaps the sidekicks will discover that kind of courage. I sure hope so. Nightlight, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, I'm going to help you. I don't know what to do. I've got the monitor back on. I'm going to walk you through this. Pull out the pair of wire cutters from the safety box. Okay. Which one do I cut? Lionheart? Hello. Nightlight, can you hear me? Come in. Lionheart! I've cut communication from the source. There is no way out. You're alone. I'm not alone. Lord, please help me. I can't do this without you. Help me to save my team. Why can't I hear everybody? It's okay. What is that? I thought we were safe. It's a message from Lionheart. You have succeeded. You have put others before yourself. You were willing to give it all and have shown what true courage is. Congratulations, Nightlight. You have beaten the final challenge. What? The bomb wasn't real? Are you kidding? This was a game. I told you. I needed to test you to see who possessed true courage. All of you have done well, but only one of you has shown time and again that they have what it takes to be my sidekick. Step forward. Nightlight. I just did what I had to do. I, I don't even know what I was doing. 
That's another part of courage. Many of us can do what is easy, but only a few of us can do what is hard and stick with it. You have shown that you can take a stand, never give up, believe in the impossible, and put others first. You have shown all the points of courage. She can teleport? I never knew she had that power. That's my power. I have the ability to teleport. Welcome to the Lion's Den. This is where I keep watch over the city and make sure evil never raises its head. You can see the whole city. We can see the whole city. Why don't you head to the vehicle bay and ready the courageous car? Will do. That was awesome. Nightlight was willing to sacrifice herself and give everything so the others could be safe. It appears that Nightlight possesses a special kind of courage. Okay, okay, okay. I have an announcement. I've changed my mind. I no longer want to be Princess Patience. I want to be Nightlight. But that name's already taken. <laughs> I said I want to be Nightlight. Alyssa, you seem out of sorts. Sorry. Lost it there for a teeny tiny second. Perhaps I can be of help. Sending request now. Request? What request? Mail! I'll get it! <laughs> is this what I think it is? Nitro, how'd you do this? A robot has his ways. I can't wait to put it on. Thanks, Nitro. <laughs> so, how do I look? You look very similar to Nightlight. Nightlight's story is so amazing. She was willing to give up everything to help others. But all this makes me think about Jesus. I mean, he really lived and really died. For real. For me. For all of us. Playing Nightlight is a lot of fun, but what I really want is to be more like Jesus. Let's say the Bible verse together. Will you say it with us? Romans 12, 1. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. A living sacrifice. I wonder what that means. Sacrifice, to give up something you love for something you love even more. Just like Jesus gave up his life for us. He loves us that much. He died for us so that we could live for him. Jesus gave up everything. Now that's the kind of courage I want. Perhaps God will help you. No perhaps about it, Nitro. God will help me. Because God gives me the courage to give it all to him. Congratulations, Alyssa. You have discovered the point and connected the dots. God gives me the courage to give it all to him. That's the point. Will you say the point with us? God gives me the courage to give it all to him. So this week, let's remember how Jesus sacrificed himself for us. So we could have the courage to give our whole lives to him. So, I've been thinking a lot about how much courage it took Jesus to die on the cross for us. I mean, he gave it his all to show us how to live for him. I mean, when you really think about it, it takes a lot of courage to trust your whole life with God. God gives me the courage to give it all to him. If you just ask him. And it all starts when you choose to follow Jesus. Here's a video to show you how. Birthday? Did you get some gifts? How about some money? About a hundred dollars? Oh, uh, please don't. I guess we're writing on the screen there. So there's that hundred dollars we were talking about. Whoops. Too many zeros. Far too many zeros there. That should just be a one and two zeros for a hundred. Okay, wait. Come back. I'm sorry. Do you still have that marker? You could help me teach how we can honor God with the money that we get or earn. 
All we have to remember is give, save, spend. If we have $100, the first thing we're going to do is give by taking out a tithe. Tithe is another word for 10%. The Bible tells us in Proverbs that tithing is something we should do to give back to God part of what He's given us. So 10% of $100 is... Don't worry about the math. It's $10. Whenever we get or earn money, we'll be wise and give 10% to the church so they can use those resources to keep helping people. Exactly. I like your draw. Well, hold on. We're not finished. Welcome back. We can't forget about save. Next, we'll take some money and we'll save it. The Bible tells us to be wise with the money God gives us. Saving some of our money for the future is smart. We'll put some of our money aside for a rainy day. That's just another way of saying putting money aside for emergencies. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to spend it on a rainy day. What are you, uh... Oh, I see. Is that a cloud and rain? Yeah. A lightning bolt. Two lightning bolts. Three bolts! Uh, that's too much lightning. You're losing control here. Okay. Are you all right? Ready for the last one? Good. Now we can talk about spend. Once we give our tithe and we put some money aside, the rest of the money is ours to spend. But we shouldn't be unwise with our spending money. Before you spend your money, stop and think. Do you want your money to go, or do you want your money to grow? So you could buy a bunch of candy. Does that seem wise? You could spend some of it on candy, and maybe your brother's birthday present, and maybe save the rest for later. Being wise with the money that we have is a great way to honor God. Thanks for helping me out. And don't forget to give, save, spend. Harvest kids. Love God. Love people. And love life.